So today I'm going to be showing you the easiest and quickest way that you can start building your Shopify store. This is one of the biggest problems that pretty much everybody has at the beginning. Either they don't know how to design or match different types of colors or just overall, it's too complicated. And trust me, I understand. But today's video is going to completely solve that problem for you and you're never going to have that issue again. So with that, Let's get started. Now, in order to get started, the very first thing that we're gonna do is sign in to our AutoDS account. So once we're signed in and we have everything set up, the first thing we're gonna do is up here. This for me already shows a store that I already have ready, but for you, if you're just getting started, it'll tell you add store. So go ahead and click on that. Now, as you can see on my end, I also have the add store button down here. It's pretty much gonna be the same thing that you see. So let's click on add store. And then we're gonna go with Shopify store build with AI. Now you're going to have three different options. So from here, you're going to have, I have a Shopify store connected to AutoDS, use AI to generate a pre-built Shopify store. That's the one that we're going with, spoiler alert. But the third option is I don't have a Shopify store, create one myself. Now, of course, like I did say, we are going to go with the middle option for this one. So let's go ahead and continue. And now we need to select our niche. Now, when it comes to niching down, I know this is one of the things that a lot of people struggle with. And trust me, at the beginning, I did too. The problem with niches is that they're pretty much all profitable for the right person. So in order to choose the right niche to choose a profitable niche that's profitable for you. My suggestion is always going to be to go with a niche that you know something about. This is always, always, always the best advice that I can give you simply because let's say you go into the technology niche, but you know absolutely nothing about technology. You're going to read a few features about a particular product and you're going to think this is absolutely revolutionary. You're going to go ahead and list that product and then lo and behold, nobody purchases it because it actually wasn't that impressive to begin with. To you, it might have looked good. It might have looked revolutionary, but to somebody that's actually in the technology niche and sees these things every single day, it's not that impressive. That's why I always suggest go with something that you know. Me personally, one of my favorite niches is pet. Pets. One, I have my dog that I absolutely love. Two, so do other people. People love their pets just as much as they love their kids, sometimes even more. Having both, I can clearly say that my dog definitely listens a lot better. I know about the dog niche. I know about the pets niche. This is something that I'm comfortable selling. I know about a lot of different types of products. So for this, I am going to go with the pets niche. So I'm going to select this one. But just so you know, there are a few other ones. You have fashion and apparel, electronics and gadgets or technology, home and garden, sports, and I'm not sure. I'm not sure is pretty much going to take any one of these and just give you more or less of a generic store of the type of niche that you chose, but we're not doing that. I always suggest niching down. So we're going with pets. So now we're going to click on next. That's pretty much it. Our store is now being built for us. Now this part makes things a lot easier. So you already got set up right from the get go with an email and a password for your Shopify store and for your new Gmail account. Now I do suggest that you save these credentials, but if they do get lost, if you lose them for whatever reason, they are going to be emailed to you to the email that you signed up with AutoDS for. So these are the credentials that you're going to be using to log into that new Gmail account along with your Shopify store. So let's go ahead and copy this over here really fast. Go to Shopify and then log in. Copy the password while we're at it as well. All right, next what we need to do is go ahead and choose our Shopify store plan. Now at the time of this recording, you have the option if you sign up through AutoDS like you just saw me do, you have the option for three months of Shopify for just $1 for each month. That's a total investment of $3 for your online store for three months. Also, besides the three months for $3, you also have another special promotion or an offer that's going to get you 1% in subscription credits on each sale. So pretty much every single sale that you make, 1% of that sale is going to go towards your subscription credit. Meaning if you make a sale for, let's say $100, 1% of that or a dollar of that is going to go as a credit towards your subscription. So then your monthly plan or your monthly subscription is going to be a dollar less. That's a very big help, especially if you're making some pretty good sales. You could potentially be just running on Shopify for completely free. These promotions are subject to change. So by the time that you're watching this video, if for whatever reason it has changed, more than likely there's going to be a different promotion going on. But just so you know, there could be a small possibility that this promotion could be a little bit different when you're watching this. Now to get started, honestly, the best thing that you can do is just go ahead and start with the basic store plan. So take advantage of the three month promotion. And then if you notice that, you know, your store is actually succeeding, if you're doing things right, then it might be worth switching over to the yearly plan. But to get started, the monthly plan, is more than what you need, especially with the promotion. But besides that, let's just go ahead and sign up. I like to use PayPal. That's just my personal preference. All right, this next step is pretty necessary, even though it's not necessary right now, but I do suggest you do it because if you don't do this, then you're not going to be able to make any sales. So go ahead and add your business address. This could be your business address or it could be your home address, whatever you choose and go ahead and save. And we're pretty much done from here. Now, the next thing that I want to show you is how you can start adding winning and trending products, products that actually have demand behind them 
effortlessly. And for this, we're going to use automation. But right before that, I do want to show you first what the store looks like, because I'm sure you're all curious about that. So over here under online store, let's go ahead and click on the little eyeball. And this is our pet paradise store. Now, as you can see, it's already completely built for you. The only thing that you do need to change is going to be a few details and a few specifics along with your logo. So right now it does show as my store, but this is something that's very easy to change and very easy to customize. Now, besides that, you can see that our store is already preloaded with pretty much everything that we need. And the first thing we have is our banner along with our new arrivals tab, which takes us to our collections, which has our best selling products that are already included. Then before that, you have your new arrival sections with all of the products that are already imported to your store. Then you have some generic customer testimonials. And this part has to be my favorite because this is what's going to take you the longest. And that's all of the information that you have in your footer. Your about us, your fax, your contact us, your shipping and return policies. These take forever ever to do. So this alone is already saving you hours, if not days, or even maybe a week or two of working on your Shopify store. This is all done for you in five minutes. Now, my suggestion to you when you're looking at the store is that you should be using this as a template. So you can go ahead and use it the way it is. That's perfectly fine because overall it does look really good and it is a converting Shopify store, but chances are there could be some people, it's not guaranteed, but there could be some people that are going to have the same background image as you. And also you don't necessarily want to just have your my store logo over here. You want to change that over to something a bit more eye-catching or a bit more pleasing to the eye. No matter what AI store or pre-built Shopify store that you purchase or you generate, there's always going to be some sort of tweaking that you need to do to make it personalized for your store. These pre-built stores are awesome. You can generate tons of them at once and you can test them all out at the same time to see which ones are working for you. You can do different types of stores for different types of niches. But again, it's always a good idea to personalize it a little bit to yourself and to your store or your branding. Now, as far as your store name or anything like that, you can always brainstorm a few different one of these. You can do something that's relevant to your niche or a particular, let's say in this case, a type of pet that you're going to be niching down on even more. So let's say in my case, I could make this puppy paradise, pitbull paradise, or just something like pet haven if I want to do just pets overall. You can always get help from AI. So you can go to ChatGPT and ChatGPT is going to give you tons of different names that you can choose from. Now let's quickly see how we can customize some of the store. So that way we can start personalizing it more for our brand. So let's run back to our Shopify dashboard. And on here, we're just going to click on our online store and then we're going to go to themes. Now under themes, we're going to go to customize. And now this is where we can start to customize pretty much everything that we need. All right. So now to be able to change our slide, what we're going to want to do is essentially create a new one or create a copy of it. So to do this, it's really easy. All we have to do is run over to here where it says add section and we can either create another slideshow or we can create a simple image banner, which is just one image. Personally, I prefer one image. I don't like everything sliding around unless there's certain different things that I want to promote. So let's just go with the regular image banner for this one. So as you can see, we have this one down here. Now over here where we created it, we can go ahead and move it all the way up. Just make sure to click it and slide up. And I do want to keep the information from this one right here. Welcome to Pet Paradise, because I do like how that's written out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the slideshow. And then over here on the right hand side, I'm going to copy over the subheading. Then I'm going to click on my second one. Then I'm going to click over here on my slideshow. And then I'm going to click on the little text over here where we can go ahead and change. So go ahead and left click over here on the text. And then on the right hand side, we can go ahead and paste over what we copied over. And then same thing on the top part. So instead of image banner, it's going to say, welcome to to pet paradise. Now we're going to click on the image itself or the background banner, and then we're going to select our first or second image. So the image banner can be split in two and it can show you two different pictures at once. So let's go ahead and select our first one. So let's explore free images. Let's do pets. And for this one, I'm just going to go with a little dog. Let's do this one over here. All right. So this one doesn't fully fit, even though we can make it bigger. I don't really like it. So let's try this one under it. And this one actually works pretty well, but it is being covered by our little banner, but we'll fix that in a second. Now make sure that you save this. So just go ahead and click on select and then click on save. Now, if we do want to add our second image, we can go ahead and do that through here. But my suggestion is to use another website. So you can use something like Pexels. Now Pexels is completely royalty free images that you can use for literally anything that you need without having to attribute the artist. So under photos, let's look for cat pet, and then we can use any one of these. So I'm going to go one with that can kind of resonate our with our other image. So I'm going to go with this one over here because I think this one looks really good. So let's go ahead and download it for free. And now we can select it and upload it. Now all we need to do is click on done. And there you go. Now you can see that we are going to be offering to both dog owners and cat owners. So the next thing I want to do is I want to make sure that this is actually legible. So let's click on this little banner that we have in the middle and where it says show container on desktop, we can go ahead and take that off. So it just completely removes the background. Now, obviously you can't see this. So we do want to change the color to white. So we can choose any one of these other schemes to see which one of these matches. All right, so for now, scheme number four actually works pretty well. You can clearly read everything, but 
I want to move it a little bit to the top, so top center, so you can see it a little bit better. Now there is a bit more work that we need to do in order to have this a bit more visible and look better. But for now, for example purposes, this works. Let's go ahead and click on save. Now let's get rid of this one up here and we don't have to get rid of it. Just go ahead and click this little eyeball button so that way it's not visible anymore. And there you go. That actually looks pretty good. So now let's click on save. And now let's start adding more trending and winning products to our store through automation. So for this, we're going to run back over to our auto DS account and we're going to check out the handpicked products section. For this, we're going to run over to the marketplace and then click on handpicked products. Now, because we did create our store through the auto DS AI store builder, that means that our store comes preloaded already with up to 12 winning and trending products. But of course, we can always find more to add. And the best thing about using a platform like auto DS to be able to do this for us is that we can automate the entire thing, meaning we don't have to sit there, download all of the different images, copy over all of the titles, copy over all of the descriptions. It takes way too long, especially if you're trying to upload multiple products. If you want to upload 10 or 20 products a day, then you're literally going to be sitting in front of your computer for hours doing the same thing over and over. So this makes it a lot easier. So through the handpicked product section, we can find all these different products that are currently trending and are legitimately picked by hand by expert dropshippers. Now, this shows us a little bit of everything. So let's look at the pets niche. Now we have all of these different products that are relevant to our niche. And I really like this one right here, an automatic water fountain for cats or even dogs. Now here we can see a bit of information on the product itself. So we have an engagement score and a saturation score. For those of you that don't know, an engagement score simply means how engaging this product is on social media. How many people are interacting with the posts? How many people are sharing them? How many people are actually clicking on the ads? The second one is the saturation score. The saturation score is going to tell you how saturated the market is with this product. How many people are selling it? How much competition do you have? So the engagement score has a score of 20 right now, which is mild, meaning there's not too many people actually posting about this product or interacting with the posts. That means that you can come in here and dominate that space. You can start making all of your own social ads, order a sample, make a few ads for yourself and start posting them up. If you need help creating these ads, you also have a social ads section down here with relevant ads that are promoting this same product. You can either have them for TikTok, Facebook or both. Now, as far as the saturation score, we can see that it's at a 40. So it's kind of busy, but it's not really busy just yet. It's just entering that busy state. One thing that I do want to emphasize really fast is that don't be scared about product saturation. Think about it this way. Look at the ShamWow guy, Vince. That guy turned a regular towel into a sensation and he made millions upon millions. Why? because he marketed it the correct way. As long as you have your marketing down, you can pretty much sell any product. So don't worry about saturation, just focus on your marketing. All right, so, so far, everything looks pretty good. This looks like a product that I do wanna offer in my store. So I'm simply gonna import the draft. When I import that draft, it goes over here to my draft section where I can make any necessary edits. So I'm gonna go ahead and click to edit over here. Now, this title right here, it, it's way too long and it's not optimized for SEO. So what I wanna do is optimize the title with AI. Now, of course, you can do this by yourself, but using AI just makes it that much quicker. So you have a couple of options on here. You can choose your tone and you can choose your temperature. I like to keep it, depending on the niche or the vibe of the store, I can either go with professional or sellable or even funny. That's too funny. And then as far as the temperature, I like to be creative with my titles. So AI, right? And here, what it's going to do is it's going to take the existing title and rewrite it. So the posh puddle, the swanky swan that serves sips to your spoiled pooch and fancy feline. I actually really like that. As for a title, we might be able to get away with taking this off right there, but the rest of that would be really good to add to the description, which you can also optimize with AI on the same screen. Besides that, you also have the collection section where you can add your product to any collections that you have on your store. You can choose any tags to be able to keep track of analytics and the shipping method. This one's very important. Never go with cheapest. I mean, you can, but you're not going to get tracking. I always suggest going with cheapest with tracking because if you do go with fastest with tracking, then you're going to have the most expensive shipping, which can completely throw off all of your profits. Besides that, you have your description section. You can either edit your description directly in here or like I said, you can optimize it with AI. All right, next we have the variants tab. And this is my hands down favorite tab. The reason is because I'm very bad at math and pricing has never been my strong point. So over here, we can go ahead and click on edit. And then we have our pricing calculator. What I love about this is that whatever you set on here, it's all going to be automatically calculated for you already excluding the fees. So let's say that we have 10% in fees and we want to make a 100% profit. That means our selling price is going to be $12.47 and we're going to be making a profit of $5.76. Now, it's very important to note that this profit is already excluding your 10% in fees. So if you simply just take your selling price and you subtract your buy price, it's not going to be what equals out to this. Check it out. So our selling price is $13.58. Our buy price is $5.46. As you can see, we're actually making $8.12. Now, subtract 
our total profit, which is 876, which equals out to $1.36, which is our 10% in fees. Now, let's say this is a lot more. Let's say this is 20%. We can see that our pricing is going to change to 1527, still keeping our $6.76 in profits because we have 100% in profit. Now, let's change this to 120%. We can see that now we have $16.64 as our sell price with a total profit of 785, taking into consideration a 20% fee. From here, we can go ahead and click on save, and then we can do the same thing to the other variants, or you also have the option to be able to to just bulk edit everything, click on edit, and then set your prices through here, whether it be through the profit percentage or the sell price or any of the other options that you have. Now, besides that, you have your images tab where you're going to have all of your different pictures. You can add, delete, or even edit any of the images on here. And that's pretty much it. After that, you can go ahead and click on save. Now, I already did import it to my store. So on your case, you're going to have a button that says save and import. That's the one that you're going to click on to be able to import it to your store. Once you do that, you can go back to your store and refresh it. And as you can see, we already have our brand new banner that we had changed earlier and then if we click on the new arrival section and then scroll down a little bit you're going to see our new automatic swan shaped pet water dispenser once you click into it you're going to have your products page unfortunately i didn't save the ai title that i did earlier so this is the default one but here you can see that we have our new pricing structure then this is pretty cool right here the fact that this is animated and it wiggles a little bit it really catches your customer's attention and ensures that they add this to the cart and then you have your description as well besides that you have a few related products and a couple of trust badges so as you just saw getting started drop shipping and creating your own store has never been easier or quicker. And if you want access to the AI pre-built Shopify stores, all you need to do is simply sign up for AutoDS and you can take advantage of a two week trial for just $1. So that way you can test out Shopify and AutoDS at the same time and start making some sales right off the bat. If you found any value in this video, please make sure you like and subscribe so that way you don't miss out on any future dropshipping content. Huge thank you once again to everyone for watching. My name is Mario with AutoDS and I'll catch you all next time.